class. My name is Sister Mary Jehoshaphat, and I'll be filling in for your criminal law course. Father McShane's got a case of the runs. It appears there's a stomach bug going around the Catholic University Law School. So wash your hands. Lovely. Yes. I believe today we'll be covering the criminal law defense of necessity. Yes, the case we'll be covering today is called, um, let's see here. Uh, Dudley v. Stevens. Oh, Governor, God bless us. Yes, Dudley v. Stevens. Dudley v. Stevens, why not? Yes. And could, could we have a volunteer to bring us through the facts of the case? Yes, anyone at all? Anyone to tell us about Dudley and about Stephen? Oh, you, you there. Thank you, dear. Love you. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, so this is a murder case. Where <gasps> the gospel does say murder is a sin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so this is a case where four sailors were caught in a storm at sea and bless their souls. <laughs> yeah. So they were caught in a storm at sea, so they had to get in a lifeboat, and then they were attacked by a shark. A oh, shark! Oh my heavens, how exciting! <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so they beat the shark back, and then they were at sea for a while, eating like turnips and turtles and stuff, but uh, they didn't have anything to drink. No, so to drink? Money, that sounds dreadful. <laughs> Thank you, dude. You've done a lovely job. Thank you so much. Could we have another volunteer? Anyone at all? Anyone to tell us about the case? <laughs> you in the front. You there. Yes. Lovely. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so they had nothing to drink, and they were all starting to go a little bit crazy. Oh, and then, oh, oh, well, we all have moments where we go a bit crazy now and again, don't we? <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> do you know what I like to do in moments like that? Um, I pray! <laughs> oh, I bet those boys on the boat were praying that day, don't you think? Mm. I guess. Oh, I bet your dollars to donuts that they were. <laughs> Go on. Um, yeah, so they were really hungry, they were really thirsty, and two of the guys on the boat decided that one of them should sacrifice themselves for the others. Just like the good Lord sacrificed himself for us. How magnificent. Yeah, but two of the guys on the boat didn't want to. Oh. Oh my. Okay, well that was that was a lovely job then. Thank you, sir. Uh, if we could have someone else continue. Anyone at all? Anyone to continue reading? You with a haircut in the back there. Yes, you. So, the, even though they didn't agree, the two guys, uh, Dudley and Stevens, decided to kill the youngest guy, Parker. Oh, my. Yeah, so then they ate his body and drank his blood. Thank you for no such thing. That's what it said in the book. Cannibals? Is that what they're teaching you in the Catholic law school nowadays? Maybe I should have a word with the dean. Uh, Sister Mary, I'm not so sure what we're supposed to be getting out of this. Getting out of what? Cannibalism? In my day, we had but one simple rule. Thou shalt not kill. It was written right there in the commandments. Eating flesh and drinking blood. Well, then, never. But isn't that what you do in church every Sunday? Malik's broke out last week in combo when we were discussing Ruby Wade. 